Welcome friends, in this video we're going to unravel the mystery of level curves. How am I going to do that exactly? Take a look. Basically what I've taken is like the top of an apple, and I've sliced the apple, just as you can see. And now that apple has also been placed in a coordinate grid. Before I do anything else, let's study this apple a little bit. What do you observe if you take a look? Like for example, if you're a tiny little person and you had to climb on this side, there's a slope there clearly, right? But that slope is pretty gentle. What about on the other side? That's just as important to understand. Take a look. Look at that side of the apple. If you were to climb, like, imagine now you're a very tiny person. If you were to climb over here, that would be a bit treacherous, right? Because this portion right here is super steep. And that one is a little less steep, but it's still pretty steep. And then it's a little less steep and a little less steep until you get to the top of the apple right there. So when you have a three-dimensional surface, which is what this is essentially, Clearly, there's the concept of slope that is involved. I'm just going to show you a different view of this apple. I'm going to make sure that you kind of appreciate what it looks like in its proper setting in three dimensions. You see that? There's an X coordinate, I'm sorry, an X axis, there's a Y axis, and there's an apple placed within that coordinate system. And this right here, that's pretty easy to climb along this one. And that there, as you can imagine, in the back, that would be pretty hard to climb because it's almost vertical in this right here, where it's kind of in a dark shadow. And then obviously it's a three-dimensional object, right? So you can travel all around it and look at it from different perspectives, just the way I'm doing here. And in different places, there are different slopes. I hope you'll agree with that. What I'm going to do now based on this is generate some level curves. Notice that the apple is sliced. I'm going to place a vertical axis next to this for a second. Just to emphasize that fact that this is like a 3D coordinate system. I'm going to move this over. You see the apple lives in this 3D coordinate system. You see that? I'm going to start drawing around each level. And we're going to take a look at the relationship between the levels and the level curves. There's something very specific that occurs. Let's take a look. I'm going to move my vertical axis. And I'm going to start drawing. Take a look. I'm going to draw first around the apple in its current position, just like this. I'm generating what's known as a level curve, which comes basically from slicing the object that it lives in three dimensions this way, like that. And at this point, I'm going to remove the apple, and you see that? That is the impression of the boundary of the apple in the XY coordinate grid doesn't have to be perfect, right? That's not the big idea of perfection. But what I'm going to do now is this. Take a look. I'm going to stick this back here for a second. That's my apple. And I'm going to remove the bottom slice. So look. I'm going to remove the bottom slice, and I'm going to put the top back. And now take a look. That's just the top of the apple after the bottom slice is removed. Again, I'm going to trace around this new portion of the apple. It doesn't have to be perfect. It will still get the idea across. You'll see shortly what I mean here. Take a look. And now something happens here. <laughs> well, the apple falls apart. That's the one thing that happens. I'm going to move this again. And take a look at something. This is kind of a key understanding of the purpose of level curves and what happens, what they represent. Look, you see here the spacing between this level curve. By spacing, I mean this distance right here. See that? The spacing between those two level curves is pretty big. The spacing over here between these two level curves, right there, that spacing is tiny. That's revealing a fact about something that is happening in three dimensions. What is that? Restore everything back for a second. Take a look. So what it's telling us is the following. Take a look. You see where this apple right here, where it's steep, right there where the apple is steep, and you, then when you draw the level curves, the spacing between the level curves is very tiny. When you draw the level curves between, say, this level and that level right there, they're basically touching over here. You see that? On the other hand, take a look. Where it's not very steep, like over here, you see, like this portion of the apple right here. And then this is the bottom. You see that? There, it's not so steep as on the other side. That means that the level curves are spaced pretty wide apart, the way these are right here, you see? 
So what I'm going to do now is repeat this a couple more times. So the next level curve might be, for example, this quantity right here. Take a look. They don't have to be perfect. And perfect, in fact, is very hard to actually generate when you're dealing with the physical world. But So that there would be like another level curve. I've drawn now three level curves. The wide spacing between them means that the slope on the 3D surface is pretty gentle. Tight spacing between them like here and here means that the slope on the actual 3D object is very kind of steep. I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to readjust this a little bit. Take a look. You see? So now I have these level curves, and the information that they carry is the same at each stage, essentially. Big spacing, gentle slope on the 3D surface, small spacing, steep slope. And let's finish this up one more time, take a look. What I mean by that is I'm going to take to the very top of the apple, say, like that. And that's an impression that's good enough for our purposes. It gets the point across, which is... Now I have all of these level curves. I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit. It confirms that on this side of the apple, it's steep because the spacing is small here. As you can see, the spacing is pretty big. That means that the apple has a slope clearly because it's in three dimensions. There are slopes, but the slopes are gentle. And to see all of that, we just restore the apple back to its position. And then we look at the apple from the right angle to actually reveal that in three dimensions because that's where things actually happen. I'm going to do that right now. And you see for yourself that I was right. Gentle slope, steeper slope on that side. So I hope this has given you a much stronger sense of the purpose of level curves, what they measure, and specifically what the spacing between the level curves actually indicates about the three-dimensional object that generates them. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in another physical math video.